Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the problem of uh, missing data. And this problem arises in a variety of forms. And it often arises when we collect data of some particular variable, for example, people, schools, cities, etc. And then later on, we discover that information for some of the variables is missing. What to do in this type of situation? Because if uh, data is missing in a regression model, if any independent variable or the dependent variable is missing, the regression model will uh, omit that row and uh, will not include it in the regression estimation. So if we have missing observations, it reduces the sample size and there may be some statistical consequences of uh, using the OLS estimator because it ignores some of the missing data. If the missing data is completely random, that is, there is no systematic way that some of the variables or some of the observations are omitted, rather it is completely random, then the missing data causes no statistical problem. On the other hand, if uh, the sample or some of the observations, those are missed systematically, then we have a problem of what we call a sample selection problem and there are other estimation methods that are more suitable rather than OLS and Heckman selection model is one of uh, the model that you can use if there is a problem of uh, sample selection. So now the problem is if we have missing observations in our sample, what should we do? You can use this missing indicator method Suppose that we have uh, some information missing from our variable, what we can do is we can create two new variables. So let's call the first variable zik and this variable will take the value of xik when this variable is observed. That is we have the value of this variable and zero otherwise. And then we can create another variable a missing indicator mik which will take the value of 1 when xik is missing and 0 otherwise and next thing we can do is we can regress our model on all the x variables and we include these two variables that we created zik and this missing indicator in our model in this way we can include all the observations in the model now the problem is what is the advantage and what are the gains that we can get by including uh, these variables in the regression model and using all the observations in the model. Unfortunately, uh, this method only has good statistical properties under very strong assumptions. The gains that we will get in the number of observations is not adding anything to our original model. We may be better off running a model without these missing observations rather than uh, using these uh, indicators in our model and using all the observations. Also, there are a bunch of uh, more advanced and complicated schemes for using partial information and these methods are based on filling in the missing data, but these methods are uh, beyond the scope of uh, this course. However, I will share the links of uh, couple of resources in the description below if you are interested in knowing more about. Okay, so that is how you deal with the missing data. If the missing data is random, it is preferred that you use only the observed data and don't worry about the missing data at all. On the other hand, if uh, the data is missing systematically, then we probably be using a different model rather than OLS. Alright, I'll see you in the next video to talk about non-random samples.